Well, while there is no real chance of Marine Le Pen and the National Front winning power in the French presidential election early next year, they could potentially cause havoc for the main parties. The Front's threat to mainstream politics springs from the two-round French electoral system and the party's power to disrupt the traditional left-right duel. Now, in the first round, the electorate traditionally stage a protest vote, often backing a minor candidate. In 2002, this elevated Jean-Marie Le Pen to second place, eliminating Lionel Jospin, the socialist leader and favorite to oust the then-president Jacques Chirac. This time round, a similar thing could happen with his daughter, Marine Le Pen. If Sarkozy remains as unpopular as he is at present, then she could overtake him in the first round and face the still-to-be-decided socialist candidate. If, however, the socialists carry on their infighting and their candidate faces a series of left-wing rivals, then the front candidate could eclipse them in a repeat of 2002. In a Sarkozy-Le Pen runoff, the outgoing president would be almost certain of victory, leaving the French left, as in 2002, feeling robbed. So we could see a repeat of history there. Well, for more on this, we're joined by the French commentator and journalist Nabila Ramdani. Nabila, I'll ask you for your predictions of what might happen in that next general election. But first, I just want to speak to you about the actual father and daughter team, because you've met them, you've interviewed both of them. How different are they? I indeed have met both of them uh, on separate occasions. I met uh, uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen in 2007 while he was uh, speaking in a public meeting in Marseille in the south of France, the bastion of the National Front, where he, for more than three hours he spoke on stage without a single note. And I interviewed uh, his daughter as well on a separate occasion uh, later on. And there are similarities between the two uh, of them, but there are also very real differences. Um, Mar Marine Le Pen is very much uh, uh, has been groomed by ideologically by her father. She joined the National Front when she was 18, and she has then managed her father, many of her father's uh, political campaigns. Uh, but there are differences in style and in content. Uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen is very much the archetypal post-war um, politician. Uh, he also has a very fiery temper. Remember, he has been um, convicted for minimizing the Holocaust, for example. He fought in Algeria as a paratrooper, and he's uh, obsessed with a traditional form of right-wing nationalism. Mm -hmm. Marine's image is very, a, a lot softer. She's a m much more person of the modern age, and she's trying to broaden the scope and, and the appeal of a party known best for its anti-Semitic and anti-immigration stances. But I suppose it's not just the image, really. I guess what will concern people is whether the content is different enough. I mean, the fear of a lot of people who are anti the National Front is that now, with a more photogenic leader, the party will just become a lot more electable. Do you think that that's true? I think the party has benefited massively from a President Sarkozy lurch to the far right. And uh, uh, so in terms of uh, sympathizers, the party uh, has benefited massively from that. And that is going to be crucial in 2012. And uh, Marine Le Pen is a much more wily uh, politician. She has uh, helped uh, revamp the party's image uh, considerably. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, for example, she's much more inclusive in terms of diversity within the party. There are uh, more members of ethnic minority backgrounds within the National Front. And she's also the one who's responsible for using a young woman of foreign background as the poster for her father's uh, campaign uh, in 2007. So in light of all of that, how do you think that Nicolas Sarkozy will play the next few months coming up to the general election? How do you think he will react to what could be a very serious threat from the National Front? It is indeed a very serious uh, threat because uh, Marine Le Pen uh, could indeed divide and swing his electorate. So he will have, uh, and there is also uh, the possibility of an alliance between the ruling UMP party and the National Front, but uh, of course for the moment it, it, it's uh, muted. Interesting times ahead in the lead up to that election. Nabila Ramdani, thank you so much for joining us.